Speaking of Kamala, I actually wasn't going to get into this because there's it's so there's so much history to it. And it's so complicated, but we did just have an example of something that I really didn't think happened: an actual tiebreaker. With yeah, fifty fifty. Uh, with this, it was huh? the Build Back Better Act, and they changed it to the Inflation Reduction Act, I think. But yeah. she, it was fifty fifty, and she, she said, "I'm the break, the tiebreaker." So that was kind of interesting. We can get into that another time. But um, federal agents have carried out an unannounced search warrant on former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence. That happened on Monday, according to a statement released by Trump. Uh, sources indicted, uh, er, indicated rather, the raid was related to allegations that he improperly took a couple of classified documents with him from the White House to his Florida residence. Um, so according to the reports, officials from the National Archives and Records Administration notified Congress in February they had retrieved 15 boxes of documents from Trump's Florida residence, among which were some classified materials and believe there's probably more remaining out there. Um, Trump called the search politically motivated, even though he appointed the FBI director, Chris Ray, who's or he's been in charge of this. Yeah, we'll see how this works out. See, here's the problem. The problem is everyone on the left is going, well, this is what happens. You try to steal documents, and this is a perfectly legitimate raid. And then everyone on the right's going, yep, the FBI hates Trump because 15 minutes ago, and this is the problem. It's, it's what happened with Fauci. It's what sort of happened with the CDC. It's what happened with COVID, which is if you, if the same people, and I'm not saying it's legitimate or illegitimate because I don't know, but here's the problem. The problem is 10 minutes ago when these guys were all over the news saying Hunter Biden's laptop is a fake and I've, I'll put my reputation on it and 51 experts right. from the FBI and that apparatus all sign a document mm -hmm. saying that is fake and it smells of Russian collusion – now I see that same person on Rachel Maddow's show going, this is totally legitimate. These guys said everything. I'm going to go, I don't mm. know if I believe you anymore because you were, I caught you saying a few other things a few other times. Mm -hmm. It seems like you were talking about Russian collusion for three years. You were the same guy who was banging that drum. So now everyone on the right is going, I don't believe these guys because they put a hit on Trump years ago and they've always had it out for him. But this seems doesn't more mean pr provable. They either be will or won't. It, it'll be provable, but documents. everyone has one eyebrow raised right. now because of their history. But the guy leading the charge is Trump's appointed director. Um, he's got to go get the papers, get the papers, get the papers. Oh, many people <laughs> Trump <laughs> has you. appointed has <laughs> definitely gone Gone south. They want those Trump. papers, That's man. true. Yeah. I know of a story of a, of a comedian, a well-known comedian. He was there while uh, George W. Bush was speaking. He was there, like probably, probably like corresponding dinner, hanging out, and um, George W. was um, just just drew just drawing like the way you're drawing mm -hmm. circles doodling. on your paper, doodling your paper probably, and everybody would left. He thought he was slick. <laughs> he would rather grab that paper. Thought he could have a memorabilia, man. He didn't make it out the building. He was attacked. <laughs> wow. Really? They said, give us that paper. <laughs> wow. Give us that, that is, paper. That, yeah, that's amazing. And the fact that they knew where to find that paper, like they went straight to that. They went to, they said they went to a safe. Man, somebody's talking. Yeah. What could it be? What's in that safe? I got to find out. <laughs> We're going to find out. Rachel will be all over it. She'll let us know. Um, I'm just, I'm pray. I'm, I'm poised. I was poised for a long time. So here's what here's what Trump is saying, and here's what kind of's happening is the FBI. They have multiple cases they could be working right, on. Right. The Hunter Biden laptop thing, which has big implications, they've been kind of slow rolling that one. They're not that interested in that. They're in intensely interested in Trump and mar lago and January 6th and all that kind of stuff. So people are sort of going, well, wait a minute. Are, how independent are you if you seem very vigorous about certain things and not so vigorous about other things? So I, it's dubious, but then we'll see because um, we don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like if you say it doesn't mean they're not right and it doesn't mean he's not wrong. It just means... It's like if the CDC told me to do something now, they could be 100% right, mm -hmm. but I'd still have one eyebrow mm -hmm. raised yes. going, really? Because you guys said a lot of stuff in, yeah. in the past. So I that's a, where I'm at. I have a question. If 
military cops are overwhelmingly conservative, which they are, that's not debatable, why would the FBI not be? They're federal cops. I, they always say that the rank and file guys are, but the leaders aren't. Uh, um, the, the guys who are shot calling aren't. The guys on the ground are probably more conservative and more Republican, but the folks calling the shots are not. I buy it. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to Alex Jones. So I can explain a little bit more if, if there's a, any clarification here because I just listened to a news story about it. But he must pay over $45 million in punitive damages for claiming the 2012 uh, Sandy Hook massacre was a hoax. The payout would be uh, would add to his $4 million in compensatory damages announced Thursday. And that's literally for the 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 wife and husband's lawyer fees and things like that. That's the compensatory. I don't know how unprecedented this is, but it might be. Well, this is the first of three. So this couple, uh, who are the parents of Jesse Lewis, who was a six-year-old that was shot that day, um, the lawyers asked for $150 million, and they have $45 million. So Jones' lawyers uh, plan to appeal the decision after incriminating cell phone data, as we talked about earlier, not meant for the case, was presented to the jury. That's when, as Alex Jones called, called it, uh, he had his Perry Mason moment. Oh, when all of these, yeah. Do these texts look familiar? Because your attorney sent them to me by accident, and nobody said anything about this being privileged information. So you've been lying to me this whole time, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Gergos was apoplectic oh, about this Did he have thing. thoughts? He had a million thoughts. Like well, what? Also. Trying to remember. One of the things is, is at some point, the attorney was saying, do you know the definition of perjury? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> Um, Good Alex Jones. <clears throat> he said, uh, Gareth's like, you don't, that, that's objection. You can't it, it, say it's, that. It's the truth of, as I knew it. <laughs> he, he was saying Alex Jones's attorney should have stood objection, up yeah. right then and it's like, you can't do that. I'm getting the sense they're not good attorneys. <laughs> yes, I think that that may be it. They did a little whoopsie uh, with the text. So um, as far as I understand, oh, and then, you know, he keeps yelling bankruptcy, bankruptcy. I don't have any money left to give. And now they're funneling. Uh, allegedly, there's funneling assets into shell companies and, and trying to limit what's available to pay out. Now, these fake companies are companies that actually sell shells. They sell <laughs> shells. And pasta form? Or? No, no, like seashells. Oh, oh, yeah. That's shells. Common Collectible. Oh, ashtrays, things Absolutely. of that nature. Molds. A lot of decoupage. Uh, picture frames yes. if you live by the beach. Yeah, exactly. That's big business. That's right. She's <laughs> redders. Yes. I think I bought a few of those when I was leaving Tijuana. That's it was pretty right. late, though. I can't remember. So it, it is sort of unprecedented because this is setting the precedent for the next two couples, the next two mother Damn. and fathers that are in line behind these two to say, uh, now, where's our damages for what you've done? It also is going to kind of open the door to any podcaster, radio show host, or you. whoever who <laughs> talks shit. Alex Jones's lawyer are really good. <laughs> they're, I mean, they're, they're top, top of the class. Right what I'm saying is, is what if I talked so much shit about DJ Khaled and then he killed himself <laughs> one oh day and then they started playing the tapes? The yeah. Khaled family comes after you? That's right. right. Yeah. Anything's possible. You better mm-hmm. hope Viragosa goes on for years. Yes. I got... <laughs> deep pocket just one of them but they're coming after me <laughs> well and then this is i mean it's good bad believe in alex don't believe in alex let's just talk tacky um when the mom got on the stand to talk about you know what is, this has done to their lives having this man you know sort of release the hounds on these people who are trying to grieve their son saying you're a crisis actor this didn't happen you're just trying to take our guns away fuck you i'm gonna kill you this whole thing and she, they wanted their moment to be able to speak directly to him. Mm-hmm. But instead, he was back at his studio streaming the feed for his audience, like making fun of them and calling them performers. And, oh, her performance. I don't know if I was, I'm believing it. Is he allowed to do that? Eh? Like, I mean, it was that? streamed. <laughs> it was streamed. So good for her because she was supposed to be wrapped. Then they're taking a lunch break. Then Alex comes in for his whatever you call it, deposition. Or, you know, he's on the stand, whatever. Does. Yeah. But then, but the, the mom stayed and said, "You know, I'm not done," and finally got to address him. Now, how does he try to wipe me out, Adam? <laughs> they are. You want to do uh, Mexican Alex Jones, Alexi Al- Jones, Alejandro Jones, Alejandro Jones. No me entiende la gente. No dije nada. So, what do you think, uh, Alejandro Jones? 
<laughs> did we ever really land on the moon? Or... No, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> no, we didn't. Lo, lo pasó en Warner Brothers. Oh, we filmed it on a sound <laughs> stage. <laughs> so it was all cooked. I wish you someone directed it. Who? Ivan Reitman? Ivan Reitman. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Now, the Loch Ness Monster. Is that real? Sí. Okay. And then Dude, what? Echo a, Park. Echo Park. Oh, and then the what? Echo a, Park Lake? What? Oh, Echo Park Lake is where the, the real- The Lake Ness Monster. The Lake Ness Monster is. A Alejandro Jones? Se come cholo todas las noches. Yeah, oh, okay, I didn't get that last part, but... He feeds off cholos every oh, night. Oh, okay, he eats off He eats <laughs> off cholos or at the park. What about Sasquatch, Bigfoot? He, we live in Berkeley. Oh, he lives in Berkeley? He's in Berkeley? He's up north? Bigfoot, well, what's his Spanish name? Is it Grande... Uh, uh, Lombi Negro. Oh, what is it? Lombi Largo. Yeah. Oh, that's Bigfoot? Yeah. Limpy Largo. <laughs> I'm guessing Sasquatch is just Sasquatch. You don't put your own flavor on that one, do you? Sasquatcho. <laughs> how do you translate the abominable snowman? Yeah, the abominable no snowman. Oh, okay. I would have to know how to say abominable in Spanish. <laughs> mm. Hey, uh, Mexican Alex, Alex Jones, that, that uh, I don't know, what is it, Korean airline flights that got mm. lost at sea? Remember that? They still mm, never, lost found, communication. never, found, never the found it again. They got lost with my passport. Uh, it's, it's in, oh, so they're going to find it at some point? You're going to call from the airport? It was up there with um, Hillary's tapes. Oh. Oh. Hillary's tapes. Hillary's tapes. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's holding it all in. That's why they got the, rid of the plane. It's obvious. All right. That's very Sorry. good. Um, well, we haven't talked about this, and, and it's it's really sad and a little confusing. Um, Anne Heche is still in a coma what? as we read this following her fiery car crash on Friday. It was kind of oh. a double car crash. It was in Mar Vista, down the yeah. street from me. It, down the street from <laughs> Eric Estrada. Um, yeah, it was... I mean, I saw the whole thing on TMZ. Well, let, yeah, and I, I mean, we're going to put up a few pictures as I talk about it. But Heish was still in critical condition on Sunday. You can go ahead and put up the pictures. Following two wild car accidents, yeah. um, one she crashed into the garage of an apartment complex in West LA. That's according to TMZ. Residents tried to help her out of the car, but she put it in reverse and sped off. Soon after, she slammed into a house, igniting a fire that engulfed the home, according to TMZ. And you can show the other picture of the car. Um, a real, that's that's her car, her Mini Cooper. It was blue at, when before this. I mean, it's it looks completely, completely charred. charred. Yeah. Uh, a I'm release. Trying to, I was trying to think of, you know, in movies, the cars catch on fire right. all the time. But in real life, they don't do it so much they don't anymore. They explode. No. They've worked out. The, the fuel tank well, is the in, the, in the back. Yeah. No, they don't have a bladder, oh. even though they, they should. That was one of my um, race cars. Paul Walker, when I had Gergus in here like five years ago, I think he was working on the Paul Walker case where they're in a Porsche GT and his friend took it out and went for a hot lap mm -hmm. in a parking lot, lost control, hit a tree. It's a rear mid-engine car, so the engine's behind where you sit. Cut. It's either they don't put the engine and the fuel in the same place. Makes sense. It's a, it's it's more it's a lot of it's just about weight. If you're gonna have this much sure. weight in the front, then you put that in the back. And then in my Porsche race car, the engine's in the back, the fuel tank's in the front. That one has a fuel cell with the bladder. Right. But not um, a Mini Cooper. Not in a Mini Cooper and not in a, a Porsche GT, which is a million dollar supercar. And so when they hit the tree, Paul Walker and his buddy, the thing blew up like a tin can and right. they were showered with fuel and it ignited and they burnt alive in the car. I said to Garagos, hey, if you're Porsche, because they're going after Porsche, and you're selling a supercar, mm -hmm. it's essentially race car for the street, it should have a fuel cell. Yeah. All race cars have fuel cells. It's a safety thing because the car is so big and powerful right. and blah, blah, blah. He so she hits this garage and she backs out, then she speeds down the alley, then she hits a house and the car bursts into flames. But the thing that's weird is the fuel is at the bottom in the back of a car. She's got the Mini Cooper like Clubman. It's kind of long. That's a dirty ass house. It's probably a meth house. And she probably broke into the lab. She hit something like a gas pipeline or something because you, you, yeah. you bang into the side of a house with the front of your car. It's it's not it's not flame Nothing's going to be set on fire. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it apparent according to the release, it took fifty nine firefighters over an hour to extinguish the flame and get her out of the car. So this is a big deal. Then she got out of the car. She'd been burned and everything. She's but trying she to was get out of the struggling gurney. with the paramedics. Yes. Right. So the, they brought her. She was conscious and, and at the time, yeah, and moving around. So she must be in a medically induced coma. I was thinking about that because we've talked about that in the past. We talked about that with Luke Perry. We talked about that, I believe, with maybe John Singleton. Something, but like that, that that we didn't we talk about with Doctor Drew that you're yeah. better off. You know, all things you know considered, you're better off in a coma that you just slip into as opposed to a medically induced coma? I can't recall, but yeah, I, I'm, i anyway. Well, they're the... They also, I think, when they're working on burn victims, they uh, might? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, the LAPD know. had obtained a warrant to test her blood to determine, uh, you know, what, what the vibe was. What she, was there an influence of something? It looked like, and you might have seen this on TMZ, there was a little circle around it, but I couldn't tell what was inside of it. it I think they were alleging that there was a little, like, mini... It booze bottle in like the a compartment. little. It looked like a little pint of a Kamchatka vodka, or yeah. something. Vodka, you know, the red cap with the little clear, huh. clear Didn't, bottle. Um, she wake up at somebody's house back in the day. It's all loaded too. Yes, Long she's an incident. Yeah. yeah, she climbed into someone's house. I yeah. think she's really or, nice. Is that she's Robert been Downey on, Jr. Yeah, she's, she's been, been on, on the, the show. show. She's super nice. She's sweet. I think she has a, just definitely has issues mm. and maybe the substance. Well, the interesting thing I don't better of her. I don't know how impactful this is, but it says if char she could be charged with a misdemeanor DUI hit and run, that seems good, right? If you if you set two you know par- houses on fire and all and caused all this chaos, a misdemeanor seems like a yeah. Decent- I don't know. I I just. All I remember is I was looking at the front, if you show the front of her charred car, because I was watching it on TMZ, and I was like, oh, man, that little Mini Cooper. And then they showed her speeding down yeah. the alley. And almost and, hit somebody in the alley. Yeah, a woman was walking, wearing a red shirt, so she was very identifiable. Yeah. She, like, sped right past her. But when they showed the front of the charred car, I was like, oh, Mini Cooper. And then I saw this slit kind of air intake that's on the front hood and I was like Damn. oh she got the supercharged one <laughs> good cool. for her yeah, yeah I'm a She's car guy it. not like Ann but uh, yeah. yeah I uh, we wish her well yeah. uh, you know she said- and no one was hurt at the house by the way and there are animals and pets and so nobody was hurt from what Still I understand. Still so curious. It, you know, sometimes there's a gas pipe that comes up in the front. Uh, I'm just curious where the flames, well, yeah. big flame. That car looks like something off of a movie set. I mean, it doesn't even look like a car anymore. Yeah, and it burned inside the house, but it wasn't like the back of the car. Yeah. My no, water anyway. heater's in the garage. Could be the same. Th- it's mm-hmm. in this neighborhood, more mm-hmm. or less. So. Could have built it that way. Well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, yeah. In... From the irony desk, I don't know how else to explain this. The city of Cleveland is hosting the National Massage Therapist Convention at the end of August. Oh, um, no. th- you're ahead of me, Deshaun Brian. Watson. Yeah, that's a few weeks mm. after Brown's quarterback Deshaun Watson was given just a six-game suspension for repeated sexual misconduct involving massage therapists, and they're all coming to town. Uh, the NFL is appealing the suspension handed down by the judge and is hoping for a lengthier punishment. Remember I said that earlier. I was like, yeah. it's they want more than the judge wants. Uh, I, I think it's all about optics now. Yeah. They've gotten burned a bunch of times right. for kind of looking the other way, especially things that involve their players and women, and now they're going to double down on yeah. it. Well, Felipe, yeah. you know, they say black and brown community. I think when they say brown, they mean Hispanic Latina, maybe. or Indians. This team, yeah. this team is called the Browns. Is that offensive to you? The Cleveland Browns? Yeah, it's so the black and to, brown community. You it's know? offensive to uh, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not, <true. laughs> not to you and your ilk. Yeah, because um, I, I don't, I don't, I never know no, much about the Browns. Uh, their mascot was a dog, right? Uh, the dog pound. Yeah, it's kind of like dog their pound, yeah. de facto. A brown, like a mutt or what? It was a bulldog. Well, Brown was the name of the owner of the team. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. They have the dog pound? Yeah, they have the dog pound. Is that why Arsenio had the dog pound? Because he's from Cleveland. That's right. He is is from Cleveland. I just thought about that. I never put it together. Where have you people been? I I didn't even know it was called the dog pound. I don't know. I know 
Uh, Drew Carey sitcom started with a song called Cleveland Rocks. No. Oh, 70s show. Yeah. Oh. Or, it's that 70s show? Or that they had another spin on a Cleveland song. Yeah, we're, they're hanging out. Yeah, we're all all, all right. right. We're all, we're oh, that's not the Drew Carey show? Oh, how does that? I, maybe we don't know. Maybe I mixed up the two very Because they both take place. In, um, the one I was song. singing was done by uh, Cheap Trick. Really? I'm... Not this show has gone off the rails. All right, we need the, we need the opening to the Drew Carey sitcom. I think yeah, you're right. I think, I think you're you right. are right, actually. Yeah, Drew Carey's show is a spinoff of another show. It was? Yeah, of... Um, if I get, get, oh, wait a minute. I can't think of the comedian's name. That's While well, you think of that, this 70s show was, was Wisconsin. Oh. Wisconsin. We love uh, Wisconsin, they say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. God, God damn, damn it. Ruining everything. How did you guys get on the same wrong page <laughs> <so> fast? Oh, <laughs> sorry. There he is. Nah, you're right. And the 70s show had a similar ending where it's like, hello, Wisconsin yeah, or something. Yeah, we love you, Wisconsin, yeah, or something, something like that. Um, so the, the massage therapists are coming. Now, the organization, the massage therapist organization, is not happy with the Browns. Uh, the happy ending? No, <laughs> not happy with, um, with the quarterback's behavior or the length of suspension. This is what they say. AMTA, American Massage Therapist Association, I'm guessing, strongly believes that any client who steps over the line to inappropriate touch should face legal consequences. And it's so disappointing to see such a, re- a relatively light punishment from the NFL levied toward Deshaun Watson in their findings of his violation of the league's personal conduct policy. But like we just said, it's not the NFL. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. this, um, come on. Now, what do you think? Um that's a good convention, like, if you're just in the hotel as well. Oh, sure. You know oh, yeah. I mean? Like, I, I'll tell you that. You a volunteer. Have you guys traveled around and been in a hotel when something was going on? Mm-hmm. I keep running into the marathoners. They're the worst. Oh, God. They're the fucking early. worst. Oh, First at, off, you, at the hotel? Yeah, if you got to oh, spot man. them when you're buzzed, yeah. you know, coming down, catching the flight or whatever, they're all stretching. You're out going there. to bed, they're going to run. Yes. Yeah. I had yes. a board. I had two, I was two, there was two of them in my hotel. One, one was the Shakespeare convention. Oh, uh, I would have loved that. And it was all Shakespeare. I mean, every genre of Shakespeare. So they, they even had a side one for the other people, um, gay spear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Red, Ren, to Bear, suck dorks. or not to yeah. suck, that is a dilemma. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, but there was Rape a gay spear with. and there was a lesbian <laughs> spear, but it was all Shakespeare. Then I was at a one in the, when I was doing the a show in Colorado for four days. Nothing but the, they have. They were, they were having the scrapbook convention. Uh, what? Ah. Nothing but older ladies. Yeah. You know, older ladies and a couple of ex cons who are still <laughs> hanging on to grandma. All right. You know, <laughs> and they, they pick up on ladies, but it was all patchwork denim, long gray hair. People named Blanche yeah. and mm. Gertrude. Yeah. Another one I was on was well, even more, was an interesting one. It was it was like a, a farming convention where. They're selling seeds and animal products. And it was a bunch of fucking farmers, man. Mm. Bunch of fucking farmers. That makes farmers. sense. That checks the, out. I saw the I'm, seeds. I, I ran into a bunch of Amish people that use electricity. Wow. They call it Mennonites. Yeah, Mennonites, uh-huh. sure. Yeah. Wow. I like the facial hair on the Mennonites. Man, the, the, kind of LeBron about, James-ish. Mm-hmm. Man, people say, man, like, what kind of woman you want, man? I want a woman like a Mennonite. I have that woman on check. Mm. Man, this, these, these Mennonites, man, they have those ladies on check, man. Like How? Like this guy sitting down with his, you know, man spreading with his long beard, and his wife goes over there and fills up two bottle waters with, um, with fucking free water. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. sure. And then she goes, gets ice, and makes wow. him a big cup. Yeah. And he's talking to me, and he just hands it over to him like that. He just grabs it, starts drinking Don't it. Don't even acknowledge Don't it. Don't even say thanks. Wow. I had, I. She know her place. I was. <laughs> Wait a minute, night. <laughs> I was my daughter's Mennonite bitch <laughs> over the weekend. So you guys tell me, tell me in what universe that your parents would have ever done this Don't for know. you, right? So she's playing volleyball for 14 hours in Irvine. And I told you guys that we're inside this giant venue with no air conditioning. Mm-hmm. It's 102 degrees outside. And all it is, it's, it's, it's like, it would have been hotter and fucking the hubs of hell in there. If you just sat alone in this empty place with no air conditioning, this is 2000 16 year old girls playing volleyball and, 2,000 parents screaming as loud as they parents. can, just just banging the ball in the air and running around. 
it was like you ever you ever walk by like there's like a there's like a jujitsu dojo mm. in my neighborhood, and if you go by there in the evening, the, the it's fogged up. The there, there's too many guys sweating yes. too hard and breathing too hard yes. in too small an area, right? Well, this is that times a thousand, and at some point, my daughter gives me the look from the court because the kids were all sweating their asses off because it was so balmy in there and it was so hot and never seen 16 year old girls sweat like this, but it's all pouring down their face and everything. And at some point my daughter spots me on the mini bleachers, gives me the point mm-hmm. points at the water bottle and then dispatches me oh, wow. all finger work. You know what I mean? Like the, like the Mennonite <laughs> bitch I am. So I was like, Oh, okay. So now you tell me. I had the water bottle in my hand, and I was like, oh, the, the, the line to wait to get the water can be a little long in the cafeteria. And I stand up, and one of the moms goes, they got the refill. They got the oh. bottle refill yeah, thing. It's over Smart. there. Use that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, that's free. <laughs> yeah. I was going to save a bottle. I'll just fill it up. Then I flash back three days earlier in the kitchen. I buy, I don't know what it is, whatever springs. I buy the best goddamn bottled water available for my family and for me at my house. And you know how it's good? comes in a fucking glass bottle. Yeah. The giant bottle is glass. Alkaline. I got the best, most expensive glass bottle shit you can buy. No carcinogens. Bought it. I, I, I ran an old friend of mine who was uh, from the Acme Theater. He's now like an, I don't know, an ambassador for the company. Started talking to him. This is a few years ago. I said, we make the best bottle. It's, it's super expensive, but it's the best. So I go get it, and, I st- and that's the only bottle of water we have at the house. Walk in the other day. This is three days earlier to being made the Mennonite bitch. She's her and a friend are sitting there drinking water out of a plastic bottle. They still get the cases of the plastic sure. bottle. I hate it. It's ugly American shit. It's all ending up in the ocean. Plus, you have the best water ever. The most Literally expensive money can in, buy. in a in a glass. glass bottle, and everyone's talking about all oh, these plastics. Not good. Not good with the plastic. Mm-hmm. Like you have this. Mm-hmm. Save the landfill. Save some money, blah, blah, blah. My daughter goes, I don't like that water. I go, it's the best. It's the best. It's in a glass bottle. It's the best. I don't like the way it tastes. I, Blind taste I, test. I, yeah. I, said, I would immediately. I said, I said, you don't like the way it tastes. No. You like the bottled stuff from Ralph's better. Yeah. Because First off, this water just tastes... It's like the definition of water. It just tastes like liquid nothing, but yeah. it is great. And it's in a, a glass bottle. It's so from I a got, stream. From a stream. A and Pope blessed it. An <laughs> Indian went and retrieved it. And so I said, oh, okay. All right. So I go the, I go get two of the same tumblers. I said, turn around. <laughs> turn around. Put the bottled water in there. Then go get the glass stuff that I pay for. Mix it up. Plant it down on the table. I go, are you tell me. Perfect. Which one is that bottle and which one is that bottle? She's like, okay. Takes a sip off one. Doesn't even go to the other. Goes, oh, this one's a plastic bottle. Oh. One. This one. It just takes the other one. Yeah, that's from that one. I go, okay. You could have got lucky. Yeah. You could have <laughs> yeah, got lucky. 50-50 chance. 50 chance. Yeah. Turn around again. Turn around again. Fucking nailed it the second time. Oh, the taste between the different. They're, they both just taste like <clears throat> pure water. Yeah. Boom. No lemon zest. No mm-hmm. nothing. Boom. So now I'm walking to the bottle refill going, oh, shit. I'm going to get busted. She's going to know the shit came from the wall. <laughs> She's got you on your heels. Well, yeah, so well water, wall water. So Very big difference. I go out to the lobby, go to the vending machine that's got the cold Dasani in there and start feeding mm. the crumpled up singles into it. Really? <laughs> If, if she I won't had, be in a position to complain about I, it. If I hadn't been busted <laughs> three days earlier, she, she, she's like one of those dogs at the yeah. airport except for water. Yeah. No human could do this. But You're she Brittany could do Griner it. with the hashish. Yeah. 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 That's she's Mennonite you, bitch yeah. material right there, yeah. right? Yeah. Trained. She didn't even talk to me. She just pointed at me, pointed at the bottle, did that. You know what? I was You're on your horse. That means yeah. you're a good dad. Because yeah. she wasn't like, like she didn't end up in the hospital. Well, I was afraid to ask him for water. Nope. Mm. Dad'll, dad'll hydrate. Get yeah. it done, dad. 
Yeah. Wall water. That's good. Wall Better water. Than well water. That's, That's right. right. Obviously. That's right. And it's free. In Irvine. No. Of course, yeah. So yeah. Mennonite dad bitch. All right, let's bring it home. You got it. I'm Gina Grad, and that's the news. Come on, let's fuck our friends' husbands. <laughs> Gina, Gina. That was the news with Gina Grad. Last but not least, there's the Jordan Harbinger Show, a different kind of sponsor for this episode. The Jordan Harbinger Show is, uh, well, if you're a fan of fascinating podcasts with interesting guests, you're definitely going to want to check out Jordan's show. Jordan's an interesting guy. I've had him on few times and uh he speaks a bunch of languages travel i think he's been kidnapped a few times <laughs> yeah not funny at the time but you know with, with the passage of time we can laugh new episodes uh we'll have uh, guys like J- jordan talking to uh, scott adams on the uh, art of persuasion in a world where facts don't matter or you can go inside the dark world of wildlife trafficking you'll always find something useful to apply to your own life like little routine changes to boost productivity slight mindset tweaks to change how you see the world it is the jordan harbinger show it's h-a-r-b is in boy i-n as in nancy g-e-r and you can well spotify podcast wherever you listen to finer podcasts All right, let's see. I'm going to be in Salt Lake City of Wise Guys coming up August 26th and 27th. Felipe Sparza is doing some clubs as well. Jacksonville, Florida, Comedy Zone. Yeah. August 11th. That's coming up through the 13th. Oxnard, California, Levity Live. That's August 18th through the 21st. And go to felipesworld.com to find out all the live dates and the podcast and everything. Always good to see you again, my friend. Thanks for having me, Adam Corolla. What's up, fool? Can I mention my friend's show? It's on Hulu. It's going to come out on, I think, um, August 12th. Chris Estrada had a show. This fool with um, Frankie Quinones and Michelle Ortiz. I'm seeing odds for that. That's going to be a big deal. Fabian Alomar. You know, they're all. Mm -hmm. They hired nothing but real cholos for this show. Oh, yeah. And 7th in Union, which is streaming That's right. now on Amazon Prime. Rob Schneider in tomorrow. And until next time, it's Adam Corolla for I'm going to move with him, too. <laughs> oh, and Felipe Sparza and Ball Brian say it. Mahalo. If I was tr- if I was Tex, I would have done the scene from Goodfellas where they were going to kill what's his name that night? Uh, Maury. Yeah. Maury's wigs. Yeah, and just kind of. <laughs> eh. for tonight's off. Stop. Yeah, Forget we're, we're playing cards, we're having a drink. We're having a good time. Yeah. Just knock it off. Yeah. Let's kick it, kick that fucking can down the road. There's so many more runaways to bang. 